Well, the city of El Paso Environmental Services is reminding our town about the importance of knowing what is actually trash and what can be recycled. That's right, and KTSM News reporter Jasmine Perry speaks with environmental service officials. She files this story. When it comes to throwing trash, an automation driver tells me the more you recycle, the more room you're going to make, like out here, the El greater El Paso landfill. Starting at 4.30 in the morning, Tuesday to Friday, Environmental Services Recycle Right El Paso prepares for an early start with a truck pre-check. And by 5 o'clock, they begin their route to the far east. Um, we approximately get anywhere from 900 to 1,000 1, homes a day. By 8 in the morning, solid waste truck driver Leonard Martinez has already filled an estimated 500 containers. We go back to our route, fill up once again, and then we come back here probably about 1, 1 ish which gives us time to get back to the yard, refuel, check our truck, do our post trip, and the day ends. Martinez says when trash bins are overfilled, it actually affects them from picking up the rest of the neighborhood's waste, causing route delays. With every, with every can that's dumped, it's an automatic truck, so the packer moves with every can. So every can gets dumped, there's a trash compactor that's constantly pushing it to the forward part of the truck, which is constantly making room for the rest of the trash. According to the City of El Paso, Environmental Services, while the landfill is about 600 acres and 100 feet deep, it makes sure recycling is their number one priority to make more room for actual trash. So that we don't have to open another landfill. So the more that we have the community participate in recycling, um, the better chance we have of not having to open another landfills. Making sure the borderland community does not throw any food. However, Supervisor Mirna Workman says their contamination rate has gone down since the end of December 2022. The first audit that we did was down to, um, it went down from 32 to 28 percent and we are now at 24.5 percent. So our goal is 23 percent by the end of 2023. Keeping the borderland community clean throughout the year. Now, if your trash can hasn't been picked up yet, it's probably because your trash can is next to a wall, a fence, or a mailbox like this one. That's why putting your trash can in an accessible area will help prevent property damage. I'm Jasmine Perry, KTSM 9 News.